Okay, I have sinus problems right now. My sinuses are clogged up and my whole head feels like it's gonna explode. So, I had some at work recommend that I go to um, the drugstore and buy this uh, Neil Med sinus relief kit. And this is uh, the 50 mix packages, so I'm assuming you can get 50, 50 times you can use it, which I think it's pretty good. Um, we actually got this at CVS, although I think it's probably cheaper at Walmart. Um, he was saying he got his for about $10. We paid $13.29 at CVS. So it was a little bit more expensive, but we just happened to be at CVS when, when I was looking for it. Um, but I don't think that's bad for 50 uses for 13 bucks. I don't think that's bad at all. So I've never used one of these before. I've never used a neti pot. I've never used any of this stuff before. He said these were better because you actually squeeze it and actually blows it up there instead of gravity uh, with the neti pot actually pulling it into your sinuses. This you actually squeeze and like squirt it up in there. So it's a little bit easier to use um, and it works a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I open the box up I haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to. Um, there is some, um, you know, it's got some um, information on the back. Basically, you just you, you get the bottle and you get the um, cap and all that stuff. And oh wow, that bottle's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> well, it's not expecting it. Replace the bottle every three months. Um, here's the the pre-mixed packets oh they're inside there there's uh, little little packets look like they feel like sugar packets in there almost so uh you get that and then i think you get a coupon for some stuff yeah that's an actual neti pot right there so why would you get a neti pot if you bought one of these i don't know but anyway um and then they've got an instruction booklet here i think no that just looks like more no, it's got instructions how to use it right here. Um, so what I'm going to do, there's the instructions right there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the directions and then, um, and then I'll be back to actually do this. Okay. I'm ready. I read the directions. Doesn't sound too awfully bad. Uh, one thing you do need is like bottled water or um, some, you can boil tap water, but they don't recommend you use tap water directly out of the sink. Um, you should boil it first and let it cool off. Uh, I'm using room temperature bottled water. That's what I'm going to use. And I open these packets up, the bag up, and it's got a bunch of these, like I said, they look like sugar packets or um, drink packets is what they look like. Um, the little drink packets you put in Kool-Aid for Kool-Aid and water bottles. Um, if you look at the bottom of the box, Tammy pointed out, it says there's all kinds of different countries that this actually um, is sold in. I mean, they're sold in all kinds of different countries, um, Australia and Great Britain and all over the place. So um, it's not just around here. Um, okay. So what you're gonna do, open your bottle up. And we're gonna fill up to this dotted line. It says water fill level. And I'll probably spill some of it, but that's okay. The booklet had tons of like a Q&A section um, it was pretty interesting reading through the, you know, the benefits and the things to watch out for and why you'd want to do this and, and things like that. It was, it was pretty neat. Um, one of the things it said about the tap water, it, you have to make sure you put the saline solution in there because if you don't, uh, the tap water by itself, even this water by itself will burn your nasal passage will burn when you do it. So you really want to use this because it's pH neutral, I believe is what it said. Um, so it won't hurt your, uh, nasal passages. So I just cut the end out. It literally looks like a packet of salt. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but um, can't, doesn't have a smell to it. I'm just going to pour that in the bottle and put the lid on. Ooh, don't squeeze it and just shake it. I'm squeezing while I'm doing it, so it's squirting out of my hand. Okay. All right, one thing I learned, like I said, to shake it up, hold on to the bottle of the top and just hold this and then shake it like this. That way you won't squirt because I literally squirted out water all over the place. All right, so I'm gonna stick this. I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna stick it in my nostril, which looks really attractive, right? Are you turned on, baby? Um, <laughs> and tilt your head over and with your, it said leave your mouth open a little bit and then gently squeeze until it runs out the other side.
That is a strange feeling. And you want about half, you want to use about half of this. Now I'm going to do the other side. Oh, wait. Then it said to lightly blow your nose without pinching. And to sniff to get it back in your uh, in the back. So now I'm going to do the other side. <clears throat> when Tammy gets a sinus infection, or sinuses, I'm going to make her. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I haven't not seen any mucus come out. It looks like all water to me. I haven't seen anything ugly. Okay. When are you supposed to notice a difference? And how many times do you use it now, before? It says that you can use it, and that's as far as you can get. You can't get, the tube doesn't go all the way down. So, um, when it, matter of fact, when it starts blowing air, stop doing it because it kind of hurts when it does that. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it feels, it feels really weird. Um, and then from here, I'm going to rinse the bottle out really good. I'm going to wash this, just the top of it, uh, with just a little bit of soap, not a lot, just a little bit of soap, um, and then let it just air dry. That's what it said on a paper towel. Um, it actually doesn't feel that bad. I thought it would like feel funny and it does. And I guess because it is saline, um, it doesn't burn. It's just, it's, it's weird. It just feels funny. So. So how many times are you supposed to have to do that? Before see, I'm not, I'm not completely clear, but it does feel better. Um, it just says do it. You can do it as often as you want. You can do it three or four times a day if you want to. Um, they were reckoned, Paul, the person that told me about it at work, he said to just do it two times a day. Once in the morning, once in the, in the, at night before you go to bed. And it'll just make you feel better. Um, and it takes about a couple days and, and it'll pretty much clear you all out. Uh, what it's doing is if you have allergies, this is the theory at least, not only does it flush the the mucus kind of rinses all that out but it also if you have pollen or any other impurities and stuff and you breathe them in through your nose they're all stuck up there in your nasal cavity so doing this it rinses them all away that way you won't have the allergic reaction to whatever you breathe in that's the theory behind it which makes sense to me i mean if you think about it if you're allergic to pollen and you breathe in a bunch of pollen it's stuck up in there i'm assuming the mucus is there to get it out but if it's so thick, it's just covering it up. It's not getting it out really good. So this would actually rinse it out. Um, it also said like 10 or 15 minutes later, you may have some, some more drainage where it's kind of working its way down. So, um, so I'm sure I'll get that a little bit. But that wasn't bad at all. Um, he said that he liked this version better because you can control the pressure. You can actually push it up in there. Whereas the neti pot, if you're tilting it, you're relying on gravity to fill it up and then and slowly work its way out whereas this you can kind of you don't have to squeeze hard but just gentle pressure and it works a little bit better which i agree i like i didn't mind that at all it did feel funny but but it wasn't bad at all um so if you've been afraid to try these out don't be afraid um it's no big deal at all so that, anyway that was interesting 